Hey guys, it's Lisa. So I'm here at Disneyland today and we are gonna be looking at merchandise because there was so much merch that was released this week and we have a lot to catch up on. Like there is so much merch, so much. So anyway, come along with me, let's hang out and yeah, let's go look at merchandise. How many times did I just say merch? Oh, also, we have to talk about the fact that there's Christmas merchandise out. Like, not just a little, like a lot. A lot of Christmas merchandise is out at Disneyland and I'm not very happy about it. I, I still feel like I am just now getting into the Halloween mood and Halloween spirit and why are they doing this to us? I don't know. But anyway, I'm sure most of you, uh, some of you probably feel the same way. So, you know, just, don't kill the messenger if you if you also feel that way because I I'm very upset about this. Let's let Halloween be Halloween, you know? We are gonna start off at World of Disney and we are gonna start off strong by looking at all of the holiday merchandise. And look at this, the entire holiday display is out at World of Disney. And soon enough it's gonna fully take over. There will be no Halloween left. But I've already seen a lot of it, so I've seen like the pillow, the blanket, I've seen the ears, I bought the ears. But let me show you the backpack. So these match the lounge fly ears. Let's see, where are they? Right over there. You can get a closer look. These perfectly match, they're $88. And then one of my favorite parts is that it includes a bunch of different characters. We have Dumbo, we have Peter Pan, Simba, very interestingly. And then we have Stitch and he flies across the sky. I can't really get that to work right now. That's okay. But anyway, $88 for this, and it does have a pocket in the front specifically for the ears. And then let's see, is there anything on the back? Ooh, you get a bunch of other characters too. So we have Bambi, we have Pinocchio and Genie. For $39.99, there's a unisex shirt right here, and I already touched it. It's actually really nice and soft and has a little bit of stretch going on, but it is a kind of like muted red. It's a little bit burgundy-ish. And my favorite part, look at this. There is the Disneyland logo, but it is flocked. It has that kind of like velvet texture going on, and I love that. It is really nice. So yeah, a nice t-shirt, really basic, but like, you know, in a good way. For children, they have this green shirt right here, and the fabric is a little bit stiff. It's a little bit thick. It's not like my favorite material, but I do love the design. Oh, the design is like a little bit thick too, which is slightly unpleasant. Let's see, $22. Oh, but I love this. I love that some of the holiday merchandise does have the original vintage Disneyland logo. That part I think is fantastic. And the print is so cute. I know they have an adult version, but I don't know if I see it in store yet, but I will point it out if I do. I found the adult version and it doesn't have a price listed. So I'm gonna guess that it is $39.99. I love that original Disneyland logo on the sleeve and the artwork is so much fun. The only thing that makes me sad is that it's the same fabric as the kids one. So it's like kind of stiff, a little bit thick, a little bit unforgiving. And then the print is super thick as well. Very unfortunate. Listen, don't judge me, but I kind of want these. I know I won't end up getting them, and i it's mainly because I would never wear them, but I love this. It is a slipper and sock set. The socks look extra nubby, very, very soft. These would be so good in the winter. They're $45, and the embroidery is so cute. Look, it's Donald and Mickey. I love Donald, so these are very fun. And then they have a cable knit detail around the edge. Very, very cool. And then there's a matching kids version. Wait, let me see. I think they actually have a different embroidered design on them. This one is Mickey and Minnie. Okay, very, very cute. And the kids is $35. I always like to see what the stockings are every year. And these are very, very cute. They are made out of felt. So they are like pretty stiff, a little bit unforgiving. Oh no, you fell. And I mean, that's okay. You're really just putting it up on your mantle, but they have this Sherpa right here. And I love the pink. I really like the design of this sweatshirt, mainly because of the Disneyland logo. Anything that has like the vintage original Disneyland logo, I love. And this one is embroidered on the kangaroo pocket in white. And then on the chest, it has, it says, do not open until Christmas. And then it has all of these Disney characters. I love that they incorporated all these different characters this year. And then the material, okay, so before I forget, $59.99. But I was gonna say that the material is actually pretty nice it's thin it's not like the thickest plushest sweatshirt which is appropriate sometimes especially in southern california and it is a very very vibrant red look at it against the green so vibrant 
Of course, any Disney collection is not complete unless we have Crocs. And here we go. These are the youth Crocs and they come with gibbets. Look at me, the non-Crocs person I am, becoming slowly, very slowly, Crocs person. Actually, I, I'm sure one day I will turn to the Crocs side, but I don't think these are going to be the Crocs that do it for me. But first off, the print is very vibrant, very silly. You can see all of the little characters going on. Oh, they punched a hole through poor Pluto's head. And then, oh my gosh, I love this, the holly with the Mickey berries. And then the presents. Okay, my favorite part. Let me find a different pair to truly show you. Look at how ridiculous that is. It is like a Dr. Seuss shoe or something. And listen, when I eventually turn to the croc side, I'm sure it's gonna be for the most ridiculous pair, like these, with giant, giant gibbets. Disney also always comes out with a Hanukkah collection, and this one is front and center of the World of Disney display. And we have a lounge fly, I'll look at that in a second, but we have this sweatshirt right here. It is, ooh, it's pretty nice and soft, and it is, mm, it's like somewhat lightweight, which I kind of like, but it is all white, a very crisp all white. And then the character artwork right here is very fun. It feels not thick at all, wow, okay. Amazing extra points for that. I like that Donald is like so, well, everyone is so into the game, everyone, except for Mickey and Minnie, they look like less enthused. Let's see, $60, oh wait, look at this a giant Disneyland logo down the side. That is really cool. There's a Hanukkah lounge fly. And okay, I'm excited that there is a Hanukkah lounge fly, but I don't know, I feel like this is kind of lacking. I feel like it is very flat, very simple, a little bit too simple. Like there should have been something else going on. Like these flames, what if they were little sequins? What if there was glitter? What if there was something else? I don't know. I just. It feels so plain to me, so flat. But yes, a Disney Parks exclusive, it is $88. I like the different variations of blue. And then we have Mickey and Minnie, and they are playing with their dreidel right there. There isn't a price on this Hanukkah shirt, but I'm gonna guess it's $39.99, and I see this right away. The Disneyland logo on the sleeve is so fun. Like I said, anytime I see the vintage original Disneyland logo, I love it. And then it says celebrating Hanukkah as a repeating text behind. Oh no, this is really thick. <laughs> Especially for like the weight of the shirt. The shirt is like nice and lightweight, but the print is not my favorite. But anyway, the design is cute. There's a cozy home holiday collection. Okay, that's like not the official name of it, but I, I know it has an official name, I just like don't know it off the top of my head. But look at this pillow. I want this pillow so bad. I think this is like gonna have to come home with me because I love it so much. It's $45, it is Sherpa, and it is just so cute. It's not quite as rotund as the red ornament pillow, but I love it. So fluffy, so squishy. The throw that matches the pillow is $85 and it's very floofy very fluffy, very cozy. And one side is this Sherpa and it has this home design on it. And as you can see, it's like an applique and it's twill. But then the other side, I think this is really fun. The quilting, it's Mickey heads. So cool and very cozy and it matches the pillow. If I get the pillow, does that mean I have to get the blanket? I, well, okay, I know this has to come home with me. The stockings are $35 and oh, so very cute, mainly just because they match like everything matches and it has the same quilting going on and then i love the sherpa and of course i love the little mickey head going on the tree skirt is 85 dollars and it's giving total cozy vibes so on this front side it is flannel and it has some plaid going on and then of course it has little hidden mickeys well they're not so hidden but you can see the full design right here it has mickeys throughout and then on the flip side the reversible side it has the same quilting which I love so much, but it just makes me think like, how fun would it be if you had this in your living room with your tree and your blanket and your pillow and your stocking? It would be perfectly cozy. There's a candle in this collection for $30 and it does come in a very cute little jar. And then it has a Mickey head burned into the wood lid. And there's also like little Mickeys around the ceramic. But I just want to say all of the scented candles that Disney makes are like a uh, they're not very good, okay? First off, they don't always burn all the way to the edge. And then second, the throw on all the scented ones is pitiful, incredibly pitiful. So buy at your own risk, even though this one is scented like balsam. It smells great, but just know that like it's not really gonna smell once you burn it. 
There's even Encanto Christmas merchandise. This is very specific. So it's $39.99, it's unisex sizing, and it is a perfect Christmas green with cuff sleeves. It's pretty thin, which is good because if you're gonna you know, come to the park during the holidays, sometimes you need a good lightweight layering shirt. And it says, you're the real gift kid. And then we have Bruno, and of course we have the rats. I love that we have the rats. And look at Bruno's face. It always looks like that. It looks like he has not slept ever in his entire life. There's even Villains Christmas merch. So this is a unisex long sleeve. Let's see, it's $39.99 and it's a cream color. It's pretty lightweight, it has cuff sleeves. And then it says, leave the gifts, take your cheer. And it has some Villains on it. It has a distressed kind of design. Oh, and the design is not thick. Oh my goodness. Yay, we rejoice. Very fun. And then, oh my gosh, I just scar in his Santa hat. Ridiculous, I love it. Today is a very special day because we have a new Nuimo. Any day where we get a new Nuimo is a very special day. I love Nuimos and I love Star Wars. So this is the second Star Wars Nuimo ever and it's Ahsoka. Look, she has her Leku. I didn't realize it was gonna be so puffy, but it's kind of cute that way, right? Very rotund. I'm pretty sure Leku is what her little head tails are called. I'm pretty sure, but anyway, she is very fun. I love her very much. Look at her bright blue eyes. She is $22 if you want to take her home, and I just need to, anytime I ever talk about Nuimos, I just have to talk about this one. Well, we're talking about Star Wars Nuimos. I love him. I know not everybody loves him, but look at him. He is old and young at the same time, and he has the most precious little button nose. I am obsessed with him. So, yes, let's see. Both of them together, the perfect pair. We have holiday munch lanes, which makes me really sad because like, why didn't we have Halloween munch lanes? We didn't have Halloween munch lanes, right? I don't think so. Okay, ooh, there's even one more over there, but let's see. Let's see what they are because I, sometimes I think that the munch lanes are a little bit too specific, but anyway, all the big ones are $35 and oh my goodness, look at the little sprinkles on the top of mini. That is so cute. And they all have like candy that they're holding. I am confused by this. I mean. Let's read the label. Maybe we won't be so confused. Okay, Seasons Sweetings. This is Holiday Toffee Pudding Mini with icing. And oh my gosh, the icing is just so cute, don't you think? She is very soft. The only thing that makes me sad is that I don't think any of the munchlings really smell, like, at all. But let's see what this one is. Who are you? Let me find a tag. Okay, this is Snowflake Cupcake Stitch with Sprinkles. He is also very cute, and he has a little Munchlane's packet with him. And oh my gosh, his ears are dipped in icing too. So very cute. Okay, we're gonna have to do a smell test though, because like I, I swear none of these smell. Let's see, this one is Festive Fair. This is beef and gravy pie, oh gosh. Um, okay, so we have a savory option right here. He is a little bit smaller than the other ones, I feel like. Maybe not, actually. And also very, very rotund. I don't want to know what this one smells like. If it were to smell, I don't think I would want to smell beef and gravy pie. <laughs> I told you that we were going to do a smell test. Let's see, this is a good one to test out. Oh, I see. Nothing. It smells like absolutely nothing to me, but he is cute. Ooh, and this is kind of like the softest one, I think. I have never seen this shoulder plush before, and look, it is chipped, but sadly, look what they did to his nose. They put the security tag right through it, which, um, very sad. Very sad for him. Look, there is his little chip right there, and uh, let's see. Oh, there's no price. Okay, I'm gonna guess $25. Best educated guess for this little tiny chip shoulder pal with the sad security tag through his nose. We also have Chip and Dale shoulder plushes. These are really, really cute, and Okay, it says $39.99, so I'm going to assume that they separate, even though, look, they it looks like they are linking arms right there, but I think it's just because of the security tag, but very cute. So yes, I think they separate, and you can wear one on each shoulder. Adorable, and I just like the little hand position that Chip has. Like, he's like, oh my, oh my goodness, I don't know what, you know, something of the sort. I'm not being very creative right now, but adorable, little tiny chipmunks. I saw people walking around with these and I was like, oh my gosh, it is very cute. Look at him, the loath cat, and he is sleeping. He is a cuddly, oh my gosh, these are the softest things in the world. And they are in fact very cuddly. Look, that is his full, oh my gosh, let's see the tail. Yes, look at that tail, so cute. Okay, this thing is so soft 
and I love him. I love him so much and his little paws. Okay, how much is he? $39.99, so that's gonna be the price for all of them. Oh my gosh, and the Wampa, the Wampa is not new, but I do love him. And by the way, at Build-A-Bear, they have a Wampa and his arm comes off. Stop it, he has a little Velcro arm, it's great. And then this one is also new, but this is definitely not as popular as the Lothcat. So this is Machiavelli, and look at his little paws. Also his fluffy eyebrows, I cannot, why do I want all of these, but mainly that one. This is super ridiculous and I love it. I spotted it from across the store and I came running because I was like, what is going on? This is so much fun. It's $45. I think it's like a throw pillow or just a sully ball, really. You could just have him on your bed. He is very fun. The only thing is, is that now I'm touching him. It's not the softest. That part makes me kind of sad. Not the softest, but look at the horns. Oh my goodness. And the horns are nubby. I love this. These keychains are so cute. They're all $14.99 and they're all Pixar themed. Wait, why don't we have a Mike Wazowski one? I feel like this is a missed opportunity, but look, we have Bunny right here and they're actually really soft and nice and floofy. And oh, they even have little charms. So we have Ducky, he's hanging off. And let's see, this one is Lotso. Oh my gosh, they're so soft. Okay, what is the charm? Oh, it's a strawberry. Of course, of course it's strawberry. I can't talk right now strawberry and then this is oh my gosh it's gonna be mike this is where mike is there he is he looks so silly <laughs> and then lastly we have we have may oh so fluffy so soft let's see too cute to handle yes very true too cute to handle oh this is definitely very ridiculous and i very much so like it oh jiminy cricket look how cute he is and my favorite part is that his arm is the handle and he is tipping his top hat off to you and look at how cheerful he is this would definitely make you smile if you were drinking your coffee out of it although i don't know how practical that would be i don't know how comfortable that would be to drink coffee out of but still look at how cute he is although unfortunately he is kind of like a pea green color or perhaps he's a perfect cricket color still very cute there's also this tumbler right here that is peter pan themed very cool look at peter Tinkerbell. I like the muted colors too. Oh my gosh. And then I like this look across the bottom. We have all the Lost Boys. Ooh, and Skull Rock too. Very nice. And then uh, there's glitter in it too. Let's see. Oh no. Okay. I shouldn't be doing that. The straw is going to fly off, but we do have Tinkerbell right here. She is a little rubber straw topper. I feel like I haven't seen this mug either. This is an Alice in Wonderland mug and we have them playing croquet. Oh my gosh, I love the cards on the back. That is really cute. And then I love the little flamingo for the handle. Very nice. Okay, let's see, how much is this? $19.99. There's a women's sweatshirt here for $60 and I love it. I love the color. First off, it is this really nice kind of like deep raspberry color. And then we have a Disneyland D right there that is an applique, it is embroidered on. And then check out the back that Disneyland logo and it looks so good with like this deep burgundy against the raspberry color. This looks so cool and the material is really plush. I can tell on the inside it is very fleecy. Yes, very fleecy. The only thing that I noticed and I'm just going to point this out because like I personally don't love when it's like this. The cuff is so long. There's something about it that I just think is like less comfortable when the cuff is really, really long. Maybe you feel the same way, but then it does have like these dropped sleeves so it'll be very relaxed. There's some men's long sleeves that are part of this kind of like, I think it's like very fall-like kind of collection, but a little bit vintage -y looking, very playful. But there are three shirts and they're all the same, but just like different colorways. $39.99 and this one is teal. And then this is actually not white. This is a very, very pale light blue. And I love that. And it's like a nice weight, I guess, like medium weight a little bit stretchy. And then this one is burgundy and it has orange like that. And then this one is actually not white or gray. It's like a very, very pale blue. And then it has a navy blue and orange. Very cool. There's also this long sleeve. It's $45 and it is heathered gray. The material is like totally average, nothing to write home about. But then the graphic on the front is very fun. But if you like yellow and if you like gray, you know what I mean? If this is your kind of thing and it has the original Disneyland map kind of distressed in the background, which is kind of cool. 
There's a Bruno shirt here. There's no price on it, so I'm gonna guess it is $39.99, and it is a beigey color, really nice beigey color. It goes well with this green that Bruno is known for. Look at him with his rat friends on his shoulder. He is looking oh so very Bruno-like. A little bit nervous, a little bit sheepish. But yes, the material is very average. Not the best, not the worst. I love this shirt. I Okay, I really like it. It doesn't have a price. I'm gonna guess 35 or 40. And it is a, it's like a little bit on the thinner side, which is nice. It feels pretty soft. And then it has the sword and the stone graphic. So I love this, especially because it has this warm teal for the shirt. And then it's just very vintage, very fun and very illustrative. And the print, oh no, it's a little bit thick. Unfortunate, but still very cool. There's a women's little mermaid shirt here. And okay, first off, let me step back because I feel like it is very long. Like the cut is slim and it is long, but it doesn't have a price. I'm gonna guess it's probably $39.99 and let's do a test. Is it, it's a little bit thick. Okay, the print is slightly thick. Might be slightly uncomfortable if you had to wear it, but I just like the little mermaid's face right there. And oh, by the way, no price. So I'm gonna guess it's $39.99. And then the material itself is, it doesn't feel like the worst, but it does feel like maybe a little bit papery. I came inside of Elias & Co, inside of DCA, and I just wanted to show you, I found that same sweatshirt we saw in Raspberry. I found it in a new color. This one is cream. And I'm, I like, just think it's so soft. This would be really cozy, but for me, minus, I don't know. Well, I could tolerate the cuffs, but it's just not my ideal. But this one is cream and then it has burgundy lettering on it. And the other thing I noticed, I don't know why I didn't notice this the first time, is that the D is right in the middle of the chest. So it's not, I thought it was like to the side, but no, 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 right in the middle. I also found this, which I'm pretty surprised about. It's pretty unique for Disneyland merchandise, but it's $90. It's a vegan leather puffer jacket. And I was touching it for, I wasn't expecting the quality of this to be amazing, but honestly, like it feels much better than I would have thought, like much smoother, much higher quality. And then it has the castle embroidered on one sleeve right here. It has the Disneyland logo on the chest. And then it has grow grain ribbon. This part I don't love because I think this is, makes it look less, like quality, you know what I mean? I don't know, something about the grow green ribbon. But then yes, on the back, it has the Disneyland logo, very large across the back embroidered. And it does feel pretty thick, like it feels heavy. You know what I mean? Like this would definitely keep you warm. And I feel like here in Southern California, you would really only have the opportunity to wear it like mm, twice, if that, a year. <laughs> Here's a new collection. I think it's like the Disney 100 finale celebration. It's called something like that, but they have a few items. They have ears, which I don't see here. So we'll go in search of them, but they also have a lounge fly backpack. But let me start over here because this is the spear jersey. And I'm kind of sad because I keep saying that I'm sad that the, that the Disney 100 celebration is gonna go away. And yeah, this is just like cementing it in. This is the, oh wait, this is not a spear jersey. This is just a long sleeve shirt. Oh no, okay, let me pick that up, just a second. <laughs> so the long sleeve is $39.99, and as I'm touching it, okay, this makes me sad, but it's basically, it's a white shirt that they printed on top of to get all these colors, including the black, which means that it feels really, like, stiff and, like, not super malleable, you know what I mean? It's, I don't know if it's gonna be, like, the most comfy to wear, but the design is pretty cool. Ooh, and then even this on the sleeve, it says Disney 100 years. That is really nice. And the colors are definitely different from all of the other Disney 100 merchandise that we've seen. So this is the back, it says Disneyland Resort, and then it has a stroke around the logo. And then was there, oh yeah, there is something. Oh no, let me try to flip it. Oh, I did it right this time. But yes, we have the castle on the front and I love that it has kind of like a sketchy style to it. And yeah, we have the fireworks. Oh, it makes me think of Wondrous Journeys, which we are losing and that makes me so sad. There's a women's shirt here. It doesn't have a price. I'm gonna guess it's probably $39 or $34.99. And the material is pretty decent. It's not like the best, but it's also not the worst. It does have a little bit of stretch, but not like a ton of it. And then we have the Mickey fireworks and it says Disney 100 years of wonder. And this is kind of nice because it's a little bit more subdued, you know, than all of the very, very purple merchandise that we've had. 
We also have a Starbucks tumbler in this collection and all of the Disneyland Starbucks tumblers are always $50. This one is really cool. It is very prismatic, very iridescent looking. And I like that they use the partner statue on there and they have the Disney 100 logo, but the partner statue in particular is so cool. This is the lounge fly and it's $88. I like that it is mainly black because I feel like I wear a lot of black clothes. So this would probably match a lot of the stuff I wear. And then it has a Disney Parks exclusive plaque. It has silver hardware. And then I actually really love the straps, all these little sparkly little bits. And then it says Disney 100, 100 years of wonder. And it's a little bit metallic very cool but then the only thing is that so it does have an applique of the partner statue which i do think is cool but i feel like it's so flat right i don't know there should be more going on it feels kind of not that lively like maybe some sparkle maybe some glitter i feel like the same issue that i had with the hanukkah lounge fly is the same way i'm feeling about this one but you know what we can check out the lining maybe the lining will win us over the lining is actually pretty cute and I like the sparkles, I like the colorfulness, and I like the partner statue. That part is the best. There's also a tote bag. This is $35 and it has a webbed strap that says Disney 100 Years of Wonder. Ooh, and it's a little bit metallic. And then it's made out of plain black nylon and then printed on top. It's the same design with the partner statue and the partner statue is a little bit metallic. These are the ears and they are faux leather. They also light up. So I don't know if you can see on the fireworks right there. Those are light bulbs and I love the shimmery bow. And then I also love the partner statue in the middle. That is really, really cool. And then it says Disney, there it is. Disney 100 embroidered in silver thread. And then on the back, totally plain. And I couldn't find a price for these, but I'm gonna guess they're either 35 or 40, maybe 40 because they do light up. For $80, this is the Spirit Jersey. And it first off, it's on a black piece of fabric, but it has the most beautiful, beautiful holographic glitter all throughout. And then it has the purple Disneyland D and it is shimmery, it is glittery, as you can see. And then on the back, it says Disney 100, 100 years of wonder. And it has the Mickey firework down there. And I bet it's gonna be in the puffy print. It is, it is in the puffy print. And then look at how glittery that purple is. But more importantly, look at how nice the holographic glitter looks. Okay guys, so that is gonna do it for our little merch day. And first of all, let me just say, I, I don't really know how I feel. No, I know exactly how I feel about the holiday merch being out already the first week of October. It is too much. It is much too much for me. And I wish they would have at least given it until mid-October, you know what I mean? I too much although I, the one thing I do want to bring home is that little Mickey pillow the Sherpa one the white one I I didn't bring it home today though because I was like mm, that'll be here for a while I do not need that yet it's just giving in too much to the holidayness and I did see the preview of all the merchandise for magic keys and it was only five items and at the time I was like this is doable this is tolerable I can tolerate the holiday merch in this much you know this amount but all of World of Disney already, there's some, they were playing some Christmas songs. I was like, no, 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 take it back. Take it back right now. I refuse, except for the, the Crocs with the little presents. Uh, you can keep those around, I like those. Not that I would buy them, but I just appreciate them. They're silly and yeah, it's, let me know what you guys think. I, I think it's too much, but yes, all around a very fun day. I saw a lot of things that were very cute that I liked a lot, but yeah, a lot of merch. I feel like I missed a lot of it too. It was just like, too much to look at a lot of it and also christmas merch too much but anyway a very fun day so thank you guys so much for watching and yeah i will catch you in the next one <laughs> okay see ya